Hi, my name is Mark Armstrong and I'm the executive director and um, overall head of um, Chicago Urban Fine Arts Commonwealth. And this is my neighborhood, Maple Park subdivision of West Pullman. I grew up actually on that block right over there abutting what was formal, what was at the time that we moved here, Great Lakes Lumber, now Croc Center, Chicago. And it's a pretty middle class neighborhood, but it was not without its tragedies and um, toxic family dynamics. Uh, one tragedy that comes to mind is a brother who um, was an animator. He um, decided in, uh, at his liberal arts college to change his major to animation and got a job right out of college with Disney Studios. And he kind of switched between animation, animation studios from Disney to Hanna-Barbera and some others because although he was making six figures, he wasn't making the money that he was looking for that the white guys were getting with less education, less training rather, and um, less experience and uh, skill. So um, one day he decided he couldn't take any more and despite having a tween son at the time and a wife, and still making his six figures, he walked onto a shooting range in Southern California, put a gun to his head, and blew his brains out. Compare that with the girl that was two houses down, who was brutally murdered in her apartment near Grambling University, where she was going at the time. And the reports that we got was that she was found brutally murdered, whoever took her out of, out of this world, beat her savagely, sexually violated her, I mean, I might as well say they raped her, and strangled her to death. And the difference between the disturbing reactions for the two was, in the case of the guy who died of suicide, his parents and his sister, because he came from a nuclear family, never talked about him as if he never existed, as if he was never born. In the case of the murdered girl, her mother took it very badly and never recovered from it. She was in a near catatonic state and she had some kind of shrine set up where she would say this is, I'm not gonna mention a girl's name, but this is so-and-so. And she was murdered and such, you know, such and such. And it just, it, 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 didn't, it didn't come off as healthy to me. And it, it, she didn't come off as healthy. The mother didn't come off as healthy while the other family members, or two, she had two other girls and a son, they seemed to get on with it, them and the husband. So these are the kinds of things that we want to deal with and help people get the tools to get over, um, well, I shouldn't say get over, but to work their way through when we do our third Freedom Suicide Prevention, Saturday, March 4th, from 1 to 5 p.m. We're gonna have a lot of professionals and uh, who have dealt with trauma recovery, especially with youth. And this is open not only to just people in the Chicago area, but far and wide. We're looking for people from Iowa, Kentucky, maybe Nevada, whoever can get here. Because life is such a gift that it shouldn't be squandered. And there are a lot more opportunities for therapy and trauma recovery than when the, the guy um, that I was talking about died of suicide on that um, Southern California um, shooting range and when that um, then young girl was brutally murdered. We were talking about the 80s when that happened to them. Um, there were some, as you all probably know, there were some some um, resources back in, let's say, the 90s, turn of the century, but those kind of dried up with the budget cuts under Rahm Emanuel. 
Now people are slowly bringing them back, but they aren't bringing them back fast enough. So we decided that, that we can do just as well with some community-based things, uh, 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 as opposed to waiting and wondering and wishing for that kind of thing to happen. So among the people that we're gonna have is the famed, world-renowned and world-licensed um, therapist and trauma recovery coach, Tamara Hill, who's, having a, who's um, gonna have a book out in a few weeks about youth and trauma recovery. We're also gonna have former Cook County Commissioner, Deborah Sims, who is a social worker and has experience breaking up gang fights at funerals. I mean, literally stopping people from shooting each other up over a casket or a coffin. And a few other people you may know. And we're also gonna have some healing DJs to sort of break up everything so you all don't get burned up with too much talk. And that's happening right in my neighborhood over there at Croc Center. So keep the date open. Again, it's March the 4th on a Saturday between one and five. We hope to see you there and we hope to, to help you with whatever, whatever's going on with you, whether it be um, suicidal thoughts or recovering from the suicide of a loved one or family member because life is such a gift and it's something that shouldn't be squandered or taken for granted.